Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and I'm joined here by Lucy. Say hello. She doesn't care about wine. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the 2021 Via Borghetti Pinot Grigio. It is 12% alcohol by volume, and I paid $13 for it at my local store. That was supposed to be a screw top plus one, but my wife helped me prep this video. I'm wondering if she beat, she gypped me of a screw top plus one. Anyway, so from a color standpoint, this wine is water white. No artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so it's actually so white, like clear and light in color, that unless you hold it into one of my studio lights, you can't actually tell there's color there. Uh, let me get a picture of all this. Yeah, it's, it really is just ultra light in color. Uh, on the nose, medium minus nose. So overall, this is probably gonna be a lower intensity wine, just from the coloration and the fact that it is medium minus on the nose. Uh, first thing I'm noticing though, is I'm getting a little bit of pear. There is a noticeable amount of orange though. Like, um, it's, it's like uh, orange juice, but it's like a diluted orange juice. Cause it's not very intense. There's a little bit of green apple and really that's it. I mean, it's kind of simple. There's just a few elements to it. Um, but how does it taste? So it's medium minus on the nose. It's actually medium plus to almost pronounced for Pinot Grigio on the palate. All three of those elements are there in a big way. <laughs> that pear, that orange, that, <laughs> that apple, that green apple. So you get, you get the, the citrus quality and a slight a slight hint of sweetness from the orange. Um, the pear is just kind of there giving it a, a overall kind of fruity structure. I mean, it's, a, it's it's intense, but it's just not like trying to play any tricks on you. However, though, that green apple is a, it's like a tart green apple. Yeah, um, in terms of the rest of the, the components of the wine, um, low alcohol, it, it has um, a medium minus body. Finish is actually medium plus though. The finish goes on for a while. So how does it rate? I mean, we don't know until we get to the blick. So let's let's go there. So from a balance standpoint, I am gonna give you a full point. Now I will say this, if you had any weaker of a body, then you would just be just like drinking straight acid water and that would not be fun. You do have a little bit of a body. Uh, you are dry, but I am detecting a tiny bit of sugar on there. Not enough to where I would categorize you as off dry, but just enough where it kind of adds to the overall finish. So in the end, full point on balance. Length, medium plus finish, still half a point. Intensity, medium minus on the nose, medium plus on the palate. I'm gonna go ahead and even this out to a good half point here. And in terms of complexity, I'm gonna give you zero points. Uh, you're just a straightforward, simple wine. Like you have green components and you have a little bit of citrus and that's it. Uh, so on that note, not gonna give you any points. In the end, that still is two points. You're a good wine. Now, if you're someone who really likes to have kind of a uh, zingy wines by the pool, something light, then this is a good one for you. Uh, however though, I think this would be awesome paired with food. This has a lot of acid to it. It's really gonna cut through anything that has fat. Um, and on top of that, it's simple enough where it's not gonna go crazy. So I'm thinking more of like a, kind of like a creamy pasta, like, like a fish with some pasta. Ooh, and like lemon butter and capers. Oh, yeah, that'd be really good. As a matter of fact, I have all of those things in my pantry, except for the fish, which is in the freezer. I'm totally doing that as soon as I'm done with this video. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you, ooh, add a little bit of steamed broccoli to it, mix it in with like the creaminess. Oh yeah, that'd be good too. I'm a fatty at heart and at gut. Have you had the 2021 Via Borghetti Pinot Grigio? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.